Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert images into your report, insert the captions for those images, and how to create a table of figures. So I have my report here, and let's just say I need to insert an image here. So I'm going to just click my cursor on the line above and just press the Enter key a couple of times just to give us a little bit of space to insert that image. Then I'll go up to Insert, go along to Picture, click on the drop down and select Picture from File. Then I'm just simply going to click on the picture of choice, click Insert and here you see our picture has been inserted. Now at the moment we can't move it around and it's too big. So ensuring that my image is selected and I'm on the graphics format or picture format depending on what file you've inserted, go along to wrap text, click on the drop down and then you can choose from a number of different options about how your image will sit in your page. Now if you select square, the text of your report will wrap around your image. So just click square and then when I reduce the size of this, you'll see the text will appear around my image. Now if that's not what you want, go back up to wrap text, but you can also select top and bottom and this is probably the most common. So select top and bottom and again you'll see that your text will appear at the top and the bottom of your image. Once you've got your image lined up, then you can obviously increase or decrease the size of it. And then you can also align this wherever you like. So again, ensuring it's selected and you're on graphics format, go along to this align tool here, which is really useful. Click on the drop down and then you can choose to select it to the left, the right or the center. So if I click align to left, make sure that you've got align to margin checked. Click align to left and that image will now line up with your text. Now once you're happy with the placement of your image, I'm just going to click on the line below my image. Then I'm going to go up to the references tab and then along to insert caption. Now here we can label our figure. So I'm just going to leave this figure one at the moment and then I'm just going to simply name it graph but of course you can name it whatever you like. Then you can select whether it's a figure, an equation or a table and you can also choose from the different numbering options here. Once you're happy with your selections click OK and you can see here that the caption has appeared at the bottom of your graph. Now you can go ahead and change this if you wish. Just highlight the text, go to the Home tab, and you can adjust the text in exactly the same way that you would if you were formatting text within your document. I'm just going to pop my cursor on this next paragraph and just click the Return key just to give that image a little bit more space. And then you can see how this has just nudged this title here. So I'm just going to nudge that down with the return key. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and insert one more image in exactly the same way. So I'm going to pop my cursor here, go to insert, picture, picture from file, select my image, click insert. And then again, I'm going to go up to wrap text, top and bottom. Then I'm just going to reduce the size of that. And then again, if I go to the alignment tool, let's choose center this time. Click center. And now I can center that image. Again, once you're happy, pop your cursor below your image. Go to references. Insert caption. Figure two, I'm simply going to put circle. Click OK. Now you can see what ha what's happened here is that the label for your image is over to the left. So the first thing we're going to do is just highlight that text and then all we need to do is to go up to this icon here that says center, 
and it will center that text below your image. So now we need to go ahead and insert a table of figures. So we're going to go back underneath our table of contents and then we're just going to label this table of figures. And then I'm just going to hit the return key a couple of times and then go up to references, go to insert table of figures. And again, you've got an awful lot to choose from here. Obviously we want to list just figures only and I'm going to choose simple and then you can go ahead and look through all these different options here to choose which ones you'd like to select and which ones you'd like to leave. Now I'm going to use what we call a tab leader which are the little dots that go from the title to the page number and then once you're happy just click OK. And as you can see our table of figures has appeared here. Now this title doesn't match this top one here, so I'm going to select it, go to the Home tab, go to Intense Emphasis along these headings. I'm going to take off the italics, then I'm going to increase the size of the text to 14, and then I'm going to place my cursor above here just to reduce the gap between these two. Perfect. Well, I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.